you know, uh, uh, Michael Bani and I, especially myself, we've been in the infrastructure development with Japan for nearly 30 years. And we uh, witnessed the development of infrastructure. We evolved in an international airport building and uh, some of our clients in 1990 later. And, um, you know, now, uh, not only Vietnamese company and uh, Japan company, but uh, other part of the world, they uh, uh, express uh, the role of uh, EFG. So we actually, I think in the German community, not so many really realize and perform well because so many times that we are a developing country and uh, Vietnamese company, we also um, try to uh, develop or uh, learn from the developed country and uh, of course my college here you know well that uh, to enhance this uh, thing it cost it uh, create a big cost so how we uh, have a knowledge between the cost and the performance of the energy we need a lot of support from international funds and organizations and also from the government side and even our government also they, they have to learn a lot about this concept so uh, it's challenging somehow and interesting for business uh, like us to uh, perform and to advise also to uh, share experience to others um, so uh, when I when I discuss with you, I know that ninety percent of the investor group that you work with, they are actually coming from Japan. So this is also like a certain market preference. Uh, because you know, for example, in, in, in the study, if you look over the time, right, ESG is the emerging model. If you have to say it correctly, right? Because even in in literature, in uh, the research world, academic world, it's also a lot of criticisms. But certain markets actually criticize a lot of ESG models as well. But before that, you also have triple bottom lines, which also a lot of you know criticisms about that. So it's all coming back to the actual markets, right? And it's being emerged and and, and adapted. Um, depend on the markets and the level of culture, but in this case, the expectation coming from a certain um, origin of the investor groups. So yeah, especially for Japan investor, they are for the large company because Japan they are among G seven countries, so they have to achieve or perform an investment almost all of them and when they set up and uh, invest a new project in Vietnam or elsewhere in the world they have to uh, they have the uh, criteria and performance of this but you know what I want to say it based on my experience it depends on company some company they really perform and some company they have to say uh, because of the requirement of this ESG and they try to appear also. That's the phenomenon not only limited to Vietnam or any country. So for Japanese, we uh, invest together, we, uh, we work together and we know very well for many decades that uh, they really want to perform in the most efficient ways about the governance, the authority of Bokao uh, City. Recently, we have uh, been involved in Bokao City development. They really, really welcome the new technology to introduce the, the real showcase. Together with our Italian, just a couple of weeks ago, we uh, introduced the new system. You know, in this morning session, I heard about Barry Bokao and I've been home just now the destination for hospitality and uh, we introduced the new way of drinking water, the water produced from air and solar. And uh, you may know that uh, in coming uh, months in July, by uh, City, they will uh, have groundbreaking of the back beach. They want to transform the back beach into a beautiful flower park. And they really want to have uh, import of the new factor and the new things that the tourists come and surprise. And we introduced this thing to the chairman of Bhutan. and he's very, very happy. And another project, we try to introduce the new mobility 
the zero emission mobility the flying car from Japan also. So I really hope this project will happen and get a real showcase for all tourists and audience here and your other friends to come and uh, see. Uh, you know, I, uh, I tell you about based on my experience working with uh, Japanese investors before we uh, received uh, several investors from Japan. You know, uh, when you are here for more than 20 years, you know, some hotel already become old. And uh, we received recently the, some investor and partner. They, uh, they come here not to invest, but to improve or to upgrade the property. I think that for this local company, they not have much interest in. But for Japanese, maybe you know, they are very diligent. They work very diligently. And uh, when you open a uh, hotel that's more than 20 years, and you uh, can uh, collaborate with like operation company and cleaning company from Japan and your hotel can be improved a lot for energy saving for other things yeah so that's the one of the example for the hotel management and uh, operation and back to my experience of uh, developing several infrastructure projects as you may know by now, the Lan government really, really pushed, pushing the uh, road expansion across Vietnam from the north to the south, also in the continental and the west, the, the, the eastern side by the Oka or the line. And they try to improve uh, infrastructure. And for the energy, you know, the energy that is the new norm, and we have to educate the market, we have to educate and we have to have dialogue frequently with the authorities, local authorities and also central authorities. And because it's very new and uh, not so many people have the awareness about it. So we have to, to perform our business and we have to educate together and uh, it's really progressing, really. And we have the strong support from the, the global government, like online, or the new, or variable recently.